Hello, we are welcome to our lesson for today. Today we are we introduce our first experiment. Our topic is thermochemistry, and then today we are going to learn heat of the solution. So this is our first practicals. So you are welcome to understand these practicals. You will see how can you perform, how to calculate, and then how can you answer the questions. Let's we start. We have a mass of hydrated sodium carbonate we are going to dissolve in 50 ml or 50 ml of water and then we have 2.12 gram of sodium carbonate and hydrous or unhydrated in 50 ml of water this is our table for procedure it means we are going to record the initial temperature then we dissolve that one, we are going to record the final, and then we are going to record the temperature change. That is the first procedure, a party before reaching the questions. So, the first we have to we have a thermometer here, we have a thermometer, we're going to record the, the temperature, the heat. I have a salt, I'm hydrated. This is sodium carbonate. Hydrated, and then I have anhydrated sodium carbonate, and then I have water. This is for the first procedure, and this will be this for the second procedure to see how can you find the temperature. And then we have measuring cylinder. Measuring cylinder. This is usually to measure the volume of water within our our beaker. So let's see, we start. The first you have to record the temperature, the initial temperature. According to my temperature here, on a thermometer is 20, 26. Yes, this is 26. When I'm going to dissolve 26, that is my initial 26. I'm going to dissolve this one. Make sure you dissolve all the salt. Then you are going to this make solution. When it dissolves, it means, means your temperature will be recorded. So this is already already dissolving, dissolving. So my temperature here is 30. Is 30 centigrade or oh, Celsius temperature. I'm going to record here is 30. And for the second experiment, I'm going to dissolve sodium and hydrous. This one. The temperature of the, the cell. I want to record the initial. Is Dissolving, then when I record your temperature here is 24. So initial the cell 26, now is 24. So when you calculate here, this one and this one will be for positive, here will be for. 
this meditation be negative. Do. That is our, our table. That is our experiment. It's a very, very simple procedure. And uh, it takes a short time to take an uh, experiment. It means you take this one and dissolve with water. You record the temperature. You initial the file. And this one record the final. And then you dissolve with carry. You record the final temperature. So that is our, our concept. That is our data. You see the temperature change. This is positive, this is negative. It means we see, apart from among the exothermic and endothermic, we see which is exothermic and which one is endothermic. So let's be together on calculations. So let me proceed with the, our, our questions. The first question is calculate the heat change. Heat change for each experiment. So our formula it means heat change is equal to this one negative this one this one it means mass is derived from density derived from density because density is equal to mass and volume so it means volume will have 50 which is used to dissolve Dissolve water, dissolve the solution. That's the volume of water. This is one. It means mass will be this and this one. There is one here. So this and this one cancel will be one. So that is our our form. So it means I'm going to change it will be 50. And the specific capacity of water is this one 4.2 joule per kilogram per gram Kelvin times heat change for the first experiment was positive 4. This is K. We change it. After, after multiplying this one, and seven k, when you minus, will be the same with this one. So that is our. So when you calculate, means fifty times four point two times four will be because this is negative. Be negative. This one, this and this one, K okay, will be constant. So this is Q. You can decide to put in kilojoules divided by it. a hundred will be divided by thousands. That is U U per Kelvin or kilo joules. But for the second, this is for A or B. B will be the same fifty times four point two times. We have said it negative 2. When you multiply here, 50 times 4.2 times 2 will be this one, June. When you divide it by, will be for divided by thousands be zero point four two 
So this is heat change for us. For, for the first this one, for the second experiment, or oh, this is for hydrated. Hydrated, and this is for anhydrous. That is the first question. For the second question, we are going to find the molar heat. It means molar heat is equal to change in heat per mole. It means you will take this one divided by mole, you will take this one divided by mole. Do you see? Let's be proceeding for question number two. For the first experiment, heat change, we have got is equal to 0 0.84 joule per Kelvin. So when we find the moles, the mass, we have provided with the mass. So mass of a molar mass is equal to mole. So it means mass mole equal to 0.6 we have been provided for molar mass of sodium hydrated carbonate this one is equal to this one so we will divide will be 0 0.8 Zero two. This is more. So we take this one is equal to zero point eight four divided by zero point zero two. Will be forty two joule per Kelvin per mole. That is the first thing. The second was the heat change was zero point four two joule per Kelvin. So when divided, you will find the mole of hydrated sodium carbonate was provided with. Mass over molar mass is 2.12 divided by this one. Is equal to 0 0.02. So it means you take this one, will be divided by 0 0.02. Will be 21 joule every mole. So this is the molar heat for the second. See, it means for the for A was for the two joule per k mole for B was was 21. So that is how can you calculate the comparison between the first and the goals or when you put a comment it means here there is this is negative, this is positive. So this are the goals exo. exothermic. This is endothermic because this is already hydrated. So all the heat was only to dissolve the solute, the, the content of the, the salt. And this one, the heat released out during the hydration sodium carbonate. That's why it's endothermic. 
I think that is our first experiment. Thank you for learning with me. You can watch again to pass through to understand more. Another time, we will learn another experiment. This was experiment number one. Our, we, are going, we have decided the key to the solution. So, this is more key to the change, or say the enthalpy of this sodium hydrated carbonate and sodium anhydrous carbonate. Thank you. Thank you. More.